hello 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 welcome to or back to my channel thank you for stopping clicking and watching so today i'm very excited and um, we're doing a walkthrough of a new tarot deck that i purchased for myself for my birthday because you know i am worth it <laughs> maybe i'm not but you know i did i, I purchased it anyway <laughs> okay so if you see from the title the deck we're going to be looking through today is the queer tarot an inclusive deck and guidebook um, by Ashley Malesso and Chess Needham. So this is the side of the box. Um, and we've got this beautiful... Oh, look, look at this! Look at this! Talk about colour me happy. Uh, we've got this beautiful... Um, what's this called? Magnetic box. Uh, and inside it's like um, a bit velvety, which I think is beautiful. Um, inside was this uh, tuck box, which is also gorgeous. Check out this hot pink love me some hot pink um it's just beautiful totally floats my boat color wise let's have a quick read of the back of this box um <clears throat> okay so this says an inclusive tarot for the queer community and those who love them tarot is about more than divination it's a powerful tool for self-discovery and self-love in queer tarot, authors and artists Ash and Chess have created an inclusive, joyful interpretation of the cards to help you on your own journey. This deck was made with all queers in mind, all identities, body types, races, ethnicities, abilities and sexualities and features dozens of real queer folks to help inspire you with beautiful um, resographed, I hope that's the right word, uh, art that highlights LGBTQ and symbols and stories, queer interpretations of the classic cards and questions to consider during your readings, this deck will become an empowering and affirming part of your magical practice. So this deck includes 78 cards, a 176 page full colour flexi bound guidebook with sample spreads and of course the magnetic closure keepsake box. So that's that. It was gorgeous and I love this tuck box. This is the book. I mean, take a look at this. Feast your eyes on this beauty. I mean, you know, you know, I do love me some colour. And check this out. I mean, you know, what's not to love? I love it already. And look at this. Oh, I think I'm in seventh heaven. Is there seven heavens? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. We've got a guide, uh, sorry, a contents page. We've got a bit of an introduction. Um, I'm not going to read that. We're going to continue on. Um, so it looks like we've got a bit of an introduction from Chess and Ash, which are obviously both the creators and art, um, artists of this deck. Queerness and Tarot. I love this, this colours, uh, the colours of this book. The artwork, a bit of a um, description about that. How to handle and shuffling the cards. Um, a note on reverse meanings, choosing a spread. Okay, so now it looks like we go into some spreads. We've got um, spectrum spread, um, identity spread, chess's good mood spread, new relationship spread, Ash's new perspective spread, desire spread. And goal spread. That's quite a few spreads there. Was that five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? <gasps> oh, do you like me some spreads? Okay, then we've got a bit on uh, intuition in the deck. Major and minor arcana, pip cards, the courts, the different elements and the different minor arcana. The card meanings. Okay, and then we go into the major arcana. So let's have a look here. Okay, so here you've got your major arcana, um, these little thumbnails, um, and then and then you've got your um, explanation. So you've got a bit of, about the card. You've got a um, a small um, paragraph on the reverse, on the reverse meaning, and then you've got some things to consider. And then you even got the people that modelled the card, which I think is great. They've been, um, what's the word? Oh, I can't think of the word I'm going to put on the screen. What's the word? Oh, anyway, that word that's on the screen now. Um, 
that's great i love that um okay so i mean you know i'm not fussed that there is no full color picture beside the description but i think it's great that you can you know you can you can, you can look up the image here and then go to the description that works perfectly for me i don't need a full color um picture beside the description okay so let's just double check what the minor arcana are doing um so it looks like to be pretty much the same explanation of the card reverse things to consider it doesn't appear that the people in these cards oh yes maybe it does oh yes it does it does say who models the, each of the cards oh excellent okay okay so it's exactly the same for major and minor arcana that's great love it love it love it love it and there there we have the same the same um, setup as the uh, the major arcana small thumbnails um which relates to that suit so that that works perfectly for me love it love it love it uh we've got the pentacles at the end what's going on here model credits and card art descriptions okay so that's uh, takes into account who modeled the card um, and then it says here, for instance, the fall, a person stands unaware at an edge of a cliff. They are holding a knapsack slung over her, their shoulder and a flower in their hand. A small dog bounces at their feet. Okay, so it's just a bit of a very short description of what's going on in the cart. And that would appear to be the same for all the suits, all the majors. Yeah, it is. Okay, what's going on right at the back of the book? Acknowledgements. And the final page, resources. Perfect. <gasps> I mean, you know, come on. Love that colour. Love the colours. Looking forward to jumping into that guidebook, I have to say. Okay, let's move along to the cards because, you know, that is my favourite part. These are the backs of the cards, which match the um, inlay of the box, which I think are gorgeous. Definitely going to be um, edging mine in some super duper funky, chunky monkey colour. <laughs> okay, let's get into the cards. Um, now, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that when I get to it, the card, to explain what happened there. Okay, so we we'll start with the fall, obviously. Um, you know, what can you say? What can I say? hashtag colour me freaking happy amazing i love this magician i love this star robe and i love all these um flowers that are like framing the magician i think it's amazing and i love that the magician has got pink hair <laughs> beautiful the high priestess wow it's like it's like a party for my eyes <laughs> The Empress. Gorgeous. I'm so happy that the Empress is not pregnant in this card. Love, love, love. I so love these colours. It was, you know, I'm sure you've guessed, it was the colours that drew me to this deck, actually. I have to, uh, I have to admit. The Emperor. Check out the trousers on that guy. The Hierophant. Wow. Okay, the lovers. Beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm not seeing a snake in this picture. Not that matters, but I do like me some snake energy. Um, and it's quite a traditional image, obviously. It's very, it's very, very Rider Waite Smith. The whole deck is very Rider Waite Smith. So um, maybe this is, you know giving us the snake energy i don't know the chariot oh love i'm so gonna say that for every single card love this pink love the skies in the background strength it's interesting that the this person isn't looking at the lion they tend to be looking at each other in the um traditional rider waite smith right and you know the person's actually looking towards us instead of and um, focusing on the lion, that's interesting. I wonder if that's mentioned in the book. I love this art style. Oh, I love it. 
the hermit <laughs> so funky with a fortune I'm, I'm loving this pink justice check out this suit that's amazing love wow the hanged man death oh check out death they're wearing like a little baseball pack baseball cap that's really really cool <laughs> oh i love that and i gotta say i love their trousers as well wow beautiful temperance oh look at this look at this the devil oh it's just amazeballs oh the tower i do love me a good tower card especially when it's like you know so so colorful wow Oh, love. I cannot wait to start using this deck. The star. The moon. Check out these guys. Oh, so, so cute. The sun. I love this is a unicorn. I'm not a big unicorn fan, but this is totally cool. Love it. I love these little cute dungarees. Oh, so, so good. Judgment. Yeah. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? I don't just say anything. You, you, can, you could dub this yourself and you know what I'm going to say. Love this. And this to me looks like the lion's wearing glasses. <laughs> it looks like they've got those little specks on their near to their nose. Just been reading. <laughs> crazy okay now we're on to the wands the ace of wands very very traditional the two of wands beautiful the three the four wow look at that gorgeous 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 Sorry, did I say the three? I meant the four. Oh, you know what I meant. I'm, I'm, I'm bedazzled by all the colours. I'm sorry. Okay, we're on to the five, obviously. The six. Look at this. Stunning. I love this jumpsuit. I would love to wear a jumpsuit, but I never do because, you know, I don't know. I just, I just, I just don't feel it's me. And then, you know, when you need to, you know, you know, you know, I'm thinking, you know, when you need to pop to the, the toilet, you're suddenly sitting there naked <laughs> with your jumpsuit round your ankles, which is just not, you know, it's just not cricket. That's the total tangent. Anywho, um, we're on to the seven of swords, uh, sorry, seven of wands, obviously. The eight, very traditional. Nine, loving this, loving, loving, loving this. Look at that lipstick, that's amazing. The 10, beautiful. So, so love this pink. It's like, you know, shocking hot pink. Fantastic. Page of Wands. Wow. The Night. I love this lilac horse. <laughs> the Queen. Okay, so here we get to a bit of a, a down point. Or, you know, a bit of a low vibrational point <clears throat> in the viewing of the cards. Unfortunately, this card was damaged on arrival and when I opened it. And I literally just found out that it was damaged just before making this video, actually. Because I just opened this today. Um, these are my birthday was a couple of days ago. Anywho. Um, now, these were all shrink-wrapped. So, it's, you know, it's brand new. It's a brand new deck. So, it's obviously been damaged at the factory. And um, I was thinking about sending the deck back. However, it's true with this deck. A quick, um, a quick sideline was that I was there was two places on 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 online that I was looking at ordering this deck from, 
and I was umming and ahhing and I was thinking, you know, um, should I order from this place, should I order from that place? And I ended up finding another lip I wanted from this same um, uh, web shop. So I ended up ordering it from this site, this 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 site, uh, this site, which kind of makes me feel that you know it's, it's you know is it supposed to be that this card is damaged? I don't know, and I don't want the hoo ha of sending it back. So you know I'm thinking it's just going to be this way, and the card is just going to have to sit and be you know a little bit damaged, unfortunately. But hoo ha, ho ho, things happen, accidents happen. No point crying over spilt milk. We're moving along <laughs> to the King of Wands. Gorgeous. Okay, onto the cups. Loving this pink and the orange combination. And check this out the Two of Cups. It's got a little kitty cat instead of the lion. I love that. Okay, the Three of Cups. Beautiful. Four. Check out this t shirt. <laughs> Five. This is interesting as well. The I feel, or maybe not, but um, I kind of reacted on the five not looking down towards the cups. They're kind of, well, I suppose their eyes are looking down, but you know, usually the person is really in a uh, what's that word I'm looking for? <sighs> Defeated position almost, you know, with their shoulders hunched, looking down. Um, this kind of feels a bit more upbeat. <clears throat> That'd be interesting what the guidebook says about that. Okay, the six. The seven, check this out. Love me some lilac. Gorgeous. Okay, we're on to the eight. The nine, love this, love it. The ten. The page with a little fishy in the in the cup or the goblet. The knight of cups. So it's usually a card I look for in the um, the, tarot uh, the tarot when I purchase a deck. The Queen of Cups, beautiful. And I don't, I don't, this is just, probably just me. And I don't know why, but is it just me or is she wearing Crocs? <laughs> I've I've seen it. I can't unsee it now. Not not that I have anything against Crocs, but you know, well, I don't know, it's just me. <laughs> The King of Cups, gorgeous. I love this throne they're sitting on. I love that. Wow. Okay, onto the swords, onto the ace, the two. Stunning, stunning. Three, very, very traditional. The four. Oopsie. Bear with, bear with. The five, the six, also very interesting, I feel, you know, this person is usually looking towards, you know, and even the people in the boat are usually looking towards, you know, like um, the calmer waters, but this time, you know, they're kind of looking more towards us, and even this person steering the boat is looking, not back, but just towards us, which is very interesting, I feel. It'd be interesting to know if they cover that in the guidebook. Okay, the Seven of Swords. Eight. Love. Love. Love, love, love. The Nine. And check out these pyjamas <laughs> with the little sad faces. The Ten. And we're onto the Courts. We're onto the Page of Swords. Generally a card that I look for in the tarot. This is interesting. Do they have, is this tattoos that they have above, above their knees? Maybe not. I'm possibly making that up. The Knight of Swords. Love me a pink horse. The Queen. Beautiful. The King. Oh, just, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm thinking. I've got the Ace. The Two. It's got a very Mm, I don't want to say, you know, funky, groovy feel, but I do get a bit of a, I do get a little bit of a 70s groovy, funky vibe with this. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I'm not knocking that at all. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. 
<laughs> Very traditional. Okay, on to the six. Check out the boots. Loving the boots. Let's see if we can get hold of the card. Seven. The eight. The nine. The nine is usually an, uh, a card I also look for in the tarot. The ten. Same with the ten. Uh, it's a card I usually look for when I'm buying a, a tarot deck. <clears throat> then we've got the page. The knight. Oh, look at this green horse. It's fantastic. It reminds me of um, the Wizard of Oz when they go to the, you know, into Oz and they're, they're riding on those horses. You know, with the carriage and the horse is the horse of many colours or whatever it's called. I should know that. I've watched that film a squillion billion times. I should know that. But you know, the horse changes colour. Reminds me of that. Love it. The Queen of Pentacles. I think they're lovely. I mean, look. I've got a little bunny rabbit here. And this is beautiful. And then finally, let's have a look at here. We've got the King of Pentacles. I thought there was a microphone in their hand then, but it's not. <laughs> okay, let's give a bit of a shuffle, shall we? Let's do a bit of a shuffle and see what's going on. See what we think. Um, yeah, what do we think so far about the, the, the cards, the colours, the art style, the backings? I mean, what's not to like? What's not to like? Answer me that. I'm wondering also, maybe, if even black might really set the cards off. You know, edging now I'm thinking of, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself and uh, not letting you in on my train of thought. But I'm thinking maybe black would be quite cool. Hmm. Oh, it might set the colours off really nicely. I'm going to have a think about that. I know what I'm going to be doing under Christmas and, and uh, the New Year, or during Christmas and New Year. I'm going to be edging a lot of my new decks that I've received recently. Okay, let's do one more shuffle. And then we're going to draw a card and we're going to read from the guidebook and see what that says. <sighs> yeah. Shuffles very nicely. Nice card stock. Let's do this. Look at this. It's very, very nice. Not shiny. It's not matte. It's somewhere in between. I'm not, I'm not really very good at card stock. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not down with the kids where it concerns card stock. Let's take the page of cups, shall we? Sounds like a good idea to me. And we'll do this. <clears throat> okay, so page of cups. Page of cups. Cups, 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 cups. That gives me a total, my fair lady, uh, vibe. When um, Henry Higgins is holding the I think it's a jam tart in front of her and saying cup 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 of 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 cup 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 of 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 and she's trying to get hold of that you know jam tart in her mouth and he just wants her to say the word correctly <laughs> that was a total tangent okay page of cups okay so we've got open dreamy young at heart three keywords the page of cups is here to show you a new opportunity or path that you haven't even considered before they encourage you to open your mind to any and all things you might discover something completely unexpected, even if it seems out of reach. This card may be showing itself to you in the form of a dream, a spontaneous connection with a stranger, or a brand new opportunity to try something you haven't before. The Page of Cups can represent falling in love, be that with yourself, who you are becoming, someone new, or even a new or, un or rediscovered interest or idea. Embrace this dreamy feeling and explore it. You might receive something unexpected, and this card is encouraging you to embrace it with open arms. You may be a bit naive at this moment, but what's important is that you go with the flow, trusting your intuition and open mind. We've got a, a very short um, reverse description and then things to consider when um, drawing this card. Write down your dreams and desires. Now fold up that piece of paper you wrote on until it can't fold anymore and consider the fact that achieving your dreams might happen in ways that might that you might never expect. Hmm, that's interesting. And then it even gives you the model name. Uh, the model was Ricardo Agra Agraso. 
hope that's I hope that, that I've said that correctly. And the pronouns he and they. Oh, I like that. Things to consider. That was very interesting. I'm just going to read. I'm not going to read the whole description of this one, but I'm going to read what the what the um, things to consider was for the six of cups. Let's have a look at here. Okay, six of cups. Things to consider. Go back to your roots. Reflect. Have you dealt with specific situations in the past versus how you would deal with them now? Is something coming up from your past that you have difficulty dealing with? Do something that awakens the childlike part of your soul. Oh, I like that. It's like a bit of like a bit of an Easter egg at the end of your card reading. Oh, I like it. I'm so looking forward to working with this deck. Yeah. What do we think? I am totally, totally impressed. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so, I'm so impressed, I can't catch my breath. <laughs> I'm, only I'm only kidding, so glad. Okay, that's pretty much all I have to say about this deck. Um, I've oohed and awed and, you know, had my googly eyes over it for long enough. I'm going to thank you very much for watching. Um, you know, let me know what you think about this deck in the comments. What do you think about the whole, you know, damaged card malarkey? What would you do? Would you send the deck back? Or would you take it as a sign? But it's, you know, meant to be. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I'd be interested to know. I'm going to wish you a lovely morning, afternoon, evening. You know the drill. Um, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you again next time, I hope. Toodaloo.